How's it going Forex traders? Welcome back to yet another amazing episode of Trader Talk guys. This is episode 31. Now if you're just joining us for the first time, if this is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, guys this is the segment of my channel where I basically go behind the scenes and I break down my charts and I show you guys what exactly and how exactly I'm trading the foreign exchange market. Now guys, most channels you go to on YouTube they're just talking about uh, top five ways to become rich and this. I'm showing you the pairs to look at, how to trade them, you know, how to look at the whole thing so that you can ultimately put some money in your pocket. Now, guys, without any further ado, I'm going to be jumping into my charts. But before I do that, before I do that, something amazing, something that literally blew my mind happened. It's actually been happening for the past two weeks. So every day I wake up now, I get a message on Telegram whereby a student from the Forex Mastery Program, those of you who do not know the Forex Mastery Program is the program whereby I teach people how to trade exactly like me, the most realistic way to trade and blase, blase, blase. But that's not the point. The point is the students who have gone on, gone ahead to take the program have now started to pass their FTMO challenges. Yes, uh, we've got over 106 that I've seen so far, I know it's a lot more than that, but 106 students have actually been sending me the certificates whereby they have passed their FTMO challenge and they've passed their, my Forex fund challenge. And this is absolutely amazing. I'm seeing traders get funded all the way up to 100K, right? I believe so. Yes, I'm seeing some high level funding going on, guys. And this is absolutely amazing. I just wanted to say, a, listen, guys, the best gift you can give a teacher, right, is just to be successful. And the fact that people have come on my YouTube channel, consumed my content, went ahead, invested in their education, got the Forex Mastery program, and have then converted that knowledge into income, I am so happy and I'm so proud of you guys. I, I, I wanted to mention some names, but my team hasn't collated the names like there's a lot of them. So by the next video, I'll be calling out all your names. And But you know yourself. Congratulations. I love you guys so much. And I want to say something to you guys. I will continue to provide as much information and as much value as I can. And if you haven't already grabbed the program, do yourself a favor. Don't get left behind because... Most of the information out there you see on the internet about Forex is absolutely junk. Take it from me, I've been doing it 11 years, okay? So do yourself a favor. The link to the program is always in the description or somewhere. My team always pops it around here. But once again, I am so proud of you guys. Now, that being said, I'm done being proud. Let's see how we can make money for the weeks ahead. I've got Euro USD lined up. I've got GBP USD lined up. And I've got Bitcoin lined up, right? I've got a couple of pairs and the S&P 500. Now, I always go ahead and touch on some indices here and there just because I want to show you guys that with the knowledge you get from the Forex Mastery Program, you can trade any instrument. We're not just trading Forex now. We're going into crypto and we're going into indices. And yes, the same methodology that we use Guys, it's simple. If you go on Forex Mastery Program Module 5, just watch Module 5, Module 5.1, Module 5.2, where there are literally um, two subsections of that module. Top-down analysis, guys. Watch it over and over again, and you'll be able to analyze every and anything. So there you go, guys. I'm going to jump into my screen right about now so that I can show you guys the pairs I'm looking at, the trades I'm going to be taking, and how we can ultimately make those redraws. So guys, if you want to make redraws, just type redraws down in the... Just say redraw. Just type, I want to see everybody type redraw, 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 redraw. We're going to make some redraws. And guys, once again, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, click that subscribe button right now and don't get left behind. Once again, let's go. What's happening, people? Welcome inside of my screen. So let's just adjust this properly so we got that. Now, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome inside of my screen. What you have in front of you is a GBP USD. Like, I have so much to share with you guys today. I do not even know where to start from. But, of course, we have to start somewhere. And um, I'm going to kick off with a GBP USD. Now, uh, during my last trader talk... Um, I had, excuse me guys, during my last trader talk, I had spoke about GBP USD and the Euro USD and AUD USD. And I said I was going to allow them um, to basically give us a direction, a clear direction. We needed a setup at the time. The market was actually retracing. I think it was somewhere about here, retracing all the way back into here. 
You know, so I needed a, a certain level of commitment to the downside, which the market has obviously done for us right about here. So I want to discuss with you guys why I feel this market is going to fall and how you guys can potentially take advantage of it. But before I do that, I want to stop right here and I want to tell every single one of you that's watching this video, hit the subscribe button because let me tell you something. When you subscribe, you get a notification because by the time this video goes out, you probably have about an hour two max to watch it and then trade it before the trade no longer, obviously before you can no longer trade it because obviously the train already left the station, right? Because obviously you cannot start buying and selling when the market's already down here, can you? So you want a situation whereby once the video comes out or any of my videos come out, you're one of the first people to obviously watch the video and take advantage of it as well. So go ahead and sm yeah, smash the subscribe. I'm giving you five seconds. Just go down. I'm going to chill for a bit. Go down. Subscribe right there. Subscribe. Bikin, bikin. There you go. Now, um, that's one. I'm waiting for you guys. One, two, three, four, five. Subscribe. All right, fine. So what we have in front of us right about here is GBPUSD. And from, from all of you guys who have been following me for the longest, for those of you guys who are Forex Mastery students, you already know what the, the kind of setups I like to trade. You already know the kind of stuff I like to look at. As from what I can see, GBPUSD looks like it is about to fall off a cliff. However, I do have some reservations and I'm going to discuss that with you guys. But before I tell you why it's going to fall, let's look at some background as to what exactly is happening to GBPUSD in a nutshell. Forex Mastery students, you know I always, always like to do this, okay? Because <clears throat> the higher time frame will always tell you what exactly is going to happen in the future. And this is the good thing about the top-down analysis because from the top-down analysis, we can project thousands of pips into the future. But we cannot do that if we don't come on the higher time frame. So what we have in front of us here is the monthly time frame. And I'm just going to quickly explain to you guys what exactly is happening on the monthly time frame. So what exactly is happening here is pretty much a sideways movement that has been happening since, what, 2017? Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ, you know, since 2017, we've been stuck in this range. I have made money sending the market down, made money sending the market up, and we recently, at the beginning of the year, um, obviously made some money for, from November times. We pulled back, and then at the beginning of the year, we made all this move, all the, made all this money all the way back down. However, um, it is a lot easier for us to make money while the market is trending. Now, from what I can see in front of us for GBPUSD, I'm just going to delete all these little things so that we can actually anticipate the thousands of pips that we keep talking about. Um, usually what happens is anytime a market range, ranges for a period of time, for example, this is so 1.419, so let's say 1.42. And this is 1.218. So this is this is pretty much a 2,000 pip range, right? Anytime the market ranges for about 2,000 pips, 500 pips, 50 pips, 10, whatever the case may be, anytime there's a range, okay, and um, there's a significant amount of pip count, in this case, 2,000 pips, anytime we break out from the range, right? Anytime we break out from the... Ooh, I'm spilling some Forex Mastery information. Shit. That's proprietary information to the Forex Mastery course, but students, pardon me, let me just so that I can explain this to you guys properly, right? So once we break out of the range, we'll usually break out to the tune of 2,000 pips, which is equal to the amount of... So basically, how, for, however, for however how many pips we range for, the breakout will be equal to the range pip count. So if we range for 2,000 pips, the breakout will be 2,000 pips. So in this case, uh, I've simply calculated, uh, now this is on a monthly time frame. Guys, we do not trade on higher time frames. We don't trade. We simply come and anticipate. We This gives us, this is our Google Maps, right? So on here we can see that okay a range had been happening for a long time it seems like gbp usd indeed wants to break out of this range i'm going to be watching this very carefully if indeed we do break out because this is not the first time we're seeing a further we had a false breakout before guys i know i'm taking my time to explain this so that you do not trade blindly you have to be informed don't be in a hurry to click don't be in a hurry to stick your money in the market right so i'm, I'm taking my time out to explain all these things right about now right so once again, back to the chart. So we've actually had a fake out before, right? So this is why I'm being very careful. So, um, but if things were according to plan, we should see a 2,000 pip decline. Now I've gone ahead to map out this 
fake out with this black line right like so okay so now that i'm done with the monthly time frame for now i can see we have we, we pretty much i mean the monthly can't oh, oh, this is 16 of august we have failed to close below this level we have we have to call it spade a spade if you come on my channel i'll tell you the truth right i'm not here to sugarcoat anything if there's a problem i'll let you know okay we have failed to close below so that is giving me a bit of a concern and if i look closely on the monthly time frame this looks like a reversal candlestick although we are bearish at the moment we are bleeding all the way to the downside but this guy is looking dodgy and we, this is the 16th of august at the time i'm recording this video it's got, we got about 14 days to the end of the month right anything can happen so on the monthly time frame i'm a bit concerned not gonna lie to you guys however on lower time frames the sell setups are looking very juicy now the reason i'm highlight taking my time to highlight this is because i don't want us to get carried away when we go to lower time frames and i'll teach you guys how to you know keep your brain in check and stuff like that right <laughs> so actually if i adjust this properly to candle close i don't like putting my levels on uh the weeks of the candle candle close is usually better um so from what i can see about here um gbp usd has finally broken our bottom support level and we're testing it and we're looking at downwards now i have no doubt in my mind that this market is bearish i have no doubt in my mind that this setup is looking very juicy okay extremely juicy as a matter of fact if i bring out my trend lines and as you can see i'm systematically doing this if i bring out my trend line like so um you would see that there was a there was an initial fake out and i need to draw this properly on the four hour time frame so that i don't miss any of the candles the weeks of the candles right so yeah i need to draw this properly like so as you can see join the first two points of the shinani bank so i have point one here this is pretty much point two about here We've joined guys you see what i'm saying we've joined point one point two uh this market came out of the trend line area okay so it's a false breakout we've tried to break above it this high is lower than here so from what i can see about here um we tried to we tried to have a trend reversal we pulled back that wasn't happening uh, we pulled back and then as we tried to push higher we were unable to obviously push higher we've made a lower high technically a lower high from this one so this enough is this this in itself is a good indication that the trend reversal failed however as we stand at the moment we are now outside of the trend line and we're currently trading outside of the trend line now from experience i'll tell you for free don't get me wrong I, i'm already short this trade right um for those of you who are already selling um for those of you who are already selling don't be scared don't be scared i'm just trying to point out a couple of things here so that you guys are careful okay forex mastery students are very careful this is why they rarely lose money okay and this is why that police is always right nine out of ten times because i like to take every single thing into consideration and i'm going to teach you guys how to do just that so at the moment we're currently dancing outside of the trend line okay now i believe personally i believe this looks like a very juicy setup to the downside however this is giving me cause for concern okay so what i'm going to do is simple right um i have my entries are actually somewhere about here <sighs> my entries are at the break of this counter trend line if i'm just going to delete this trend line my entries are at the, this this right here is my sell position okay my stop losses are above here and my first level target is all the way at the bottom which is here okay however um in order for me to be very comfortable about this whole shenanigan this market will need to take out at this level which is 1.202 about here i need to see a clear break of this level don't worry about where you put your stop losses the most important thing is that the trade is a winning trade that's all that matters for me okay i don't like to lose money in this game so for me i'm gonna delete this trend line this bad boy this yellow bar is the bone of contention for me so if i swing this all the way back it doesn't even accommodate this bad boy about here okay so i'm just gonna try and accommodate for both levels that's not even happening give me a sec guys okay so i'm going to try as much as possible to ensure that um so this is the base of this this is the neckline of this double top right about here 
don't get me wrong guys i am already in this trade i'm already in this trade like i said in here and if you're already in this trade there's absolutely nothing wrong the reason i'm highlighting these things is so that you can prepare yourself okay if you see any funny movement around here you know you understand like yo there's a possibility that we might jump out of here okay however i'm favoring the downside to the tune of 80 percent. i am short once again i am short a gbp usd okay i'm in the trade already i'm short however my risk on this trade is one percent because of the concerns that the market was showing me you have to understand that i manage millions of dollars so i have to be very careful right and if you if if you want to stand any chance you know, if you want to stand any chance at ever becoming successful in this game, you have to treat your account, your capital, like you're trading on behalf of investors. This is what really helps me because it makes keeps me very disciplined. And once again, for those of you guys who haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery program, you're doing yourself a great injustice because the program will actually teach you how to lose as little as nothing and make a significant amount of money. As you can see, you guys can see all the effort that I'm putting into just analyzing and just trying to ensure that we don't lose money, okay? First thing is don't lose money. Next thing, we make a lot of money, right? Because best believe, once we break down here, I mean, we're going to make this, the, 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 break, the breakout to the downside is, is crazy. We have so much space to the downside, and I'm going to map out some key levels shortly, right? So the breakout to the downside is absolutely crazy, but I just don't want anybody losing money in the process. Like, we'll go ahead to make over a 1,000 pips, you know, by the special grace of God. Um, obviously, 2,000 pips to the top, 2,000 pips to the bottom. We should go ahead to make a lot of money, but I'm just seeing some things that I need to draw to your attention as well. So if I were you guys, I would, you know... I have gone in at the risk of 1 to 1.5% 1 here. Once we break this yellow zone right about here, I'll be a lot more confident and I'll be adding more trades to my position. So how do you go about adding more trades to your position? It's very simple. Allow the market break down here, somewhere around here. Scale down to a 15-minute time frame. Go on module 6 that talks about entries and exit on the Forex Mastery program. Use the entry strategy. The, the, the one I talk about there, yes, it can be used on lower time frames. Use it and add to your position. I always like situations whereby I risk a little if I'm not really sure, if I'm not really hundred, if I'm not hundred percent certain of this of, of of the circumstances. Risk a little. Once the market now starts gaining momentum and clears out a couple of levels, you know, then I now start to add more trades, guys. This is the most reasonable way to do it. Once again, if you haven't grabbed the program, the link is going to be down below. So. In GBP USD, in a nutshell, we're bearish. Okay, we're bearish. We just need to clear this yellow bar. Now, I would advise that you take out at least seventy-five percent of your position at this point, right about here, this green bar. I know why I'm saying this because another thing I'm noticing about GBP USD is this. Okay, we can break, we can bleed all the way to the downside. But another thing I'm noticing about GBP USD is the fact that we haven't had any decent consolidation. We haven't had any big consolidation. I mean, this market is too linear. It's too close to each other. It's too linear. I'm, by the time the market falls this much, we usually it's usually time for us to see a bigger consolidation, right? And we're too close to the bottom of this thing. This whole situation can just be a fake out on a higher time frame. However, the market doesn't reverse without leaving clues. Usually before a market will reverse, it would come and test the 100% retracement of its... So let me explain to you guys. If, for example, this is a fake out now, this whole thing is a fake out on a monthly time frame, right? On a lower time frame like the daily and the four hour, the market will at least come and form a double bottom on a lower time frame before it starts acting its madness, right? I'm just saying worst case scenario, right? So. My point here is watch out for this level also. If indeed we break here, I will be watching out for this green bar. If we break it and we start bleeding all well and good, I'm good. But I'm going to be watching out for here just in case. If I see a daily bullish engulfing candle, I'm out of this trade. Why? Because we have fallen for, we've been falling for a while. Guys, we've been falling for what? Since 1.37,700 pips without any big size you know, retracement. That, that, that's a flag for me, okay? So, um, don't be expecting this market to give you thousands of pips just yet. It will give you eventually. Don't forget, guys, we are looking at a potential 2,000 pip drop. But my point is, don't get carried away and be like, all right, cool, we're ready for another 5K drop. No, no. 
the market is not gonna is not gonna give it up that easily. From experience, you see, I'm taking my time to explain this thing, guys. Okay, from experience, and so simple. If you're watching this for the first time, or you're just watching this now, and you haven't already got into the trade, wait for a break of this yellow bar. Okay, if you're already in this trade, that's fine. Watch this yellow bar very carefully. Watch the yellow bar very carefully. Watch it. Now you need to pray. <laughs> pray we break the yellow bar. I can guarantee you once we break the yellow bar, we're coming to the green bar. It's a, it's a no brain As you can see, it's so simple. There's a lot, all this space is fine. But this guy, I have, a, I have beef with this guy. Okay, so if you can clear this guy, we're coming down here. I just have to be honest with you guys. So guys, that's GBPUSD in a nutshell. I am short. I have sold. Um, and I'm obviously hoping that we continue to push all the way to the downside. Um, so you have nothing. To, don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Just get ready to obviously act on the mark, act accordingly as the market gives you clues. Okay. So let's just hope we clear this this yellow bar once again. Just being honest. I feel like anytime I'm, oh, I'm I have a confession, guys. I feel like every time. I feel like people expect me to just tell them, yes, it's gonna, it's definitely gonna happen. It's guaranteed to happen. And sometimes I can be a hundred percent certain, like I can be very, very certain that the market is gonna do something. But you see, when you've been trading for as long as I have for eleven years now, and you've seen situations where the market just decided to start acting mad, you know, sometimes even when you're hundred percent certain, you know, you still you still like to doubt the market, you know, until the market actually hits your take profit. You're just like, as much as I'm 100% certain about this, there's always going to be that element, that little, so that you don't get carried away. I leave that window open so that I don't get overconfident. I don't, you know, just be like, this is a, I'm right at nine out of 10 times, I know, but there's still that little one time. Okay, and I the reason why I'm always spot on, the reason why I'm always spot on is because I always say to myself, anything can happen. Okay, so I'm sorry if I don't come on here and I tell you guys, oh, yes, yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. Because I see a lot of people do it on social media and Instagram. They follow all these forex signals and all these forex traders are posting flashy lifestyle and then they're sending out signals. When they send out these signals, I see a lot of people take L's, they take, they, they lose money in silence. Those guys, they would post a signal, and then when it doesn't go according to plan, they never talk about it again. You've taken your L. Okay, you've taken your L. So my duty as the leader of this community is to tell you, yes, I'm, I know this market is going to work out. We're going to make money from this, this thing. However, please watch out for this. Your trading accounts are somewhat my responsibility as well. If I'm going to make money, I want you guys to make money. If I'm not trading, I want to advise you guys. I want to make sure that you guys are getting the very best out of this channel and out of Dapple Wallets as well. So let's go over to EURUSD, okay? EURUSD is already falling. As you guys can see, I'm already short this. I have no concerns for EURUSD at the moment. My sell trades are actually here. The break of the counter trend line. Let me just put... Oh, shoot. <coughs> break of the counter trend line my stop losses are above previous highs my first level target is here i'm actually expecting euro usd to collapse all the way down here now let me also explain to you guys what's happening with the euro now this is going to be quite a lengthy video okay i need to explain to you guys the euro <laughs> i i remember calling the euro okay i remember calling the euro all the way at, at the top here i said we were definitely going to come to parity parity simply means the euro and the dollar being one to one so that's parity equal right so i did all the whole projection i was right spot on the whole man got made money blah say blah say blah say so now we're now currently in no man's land okay this last time the market was trading around this region was in 2002 if i'm not mistaken if i can zoom out you see, I know this market inside out. The last time I was here, what date was this? I told you. You see, it wasn't in nine. What was this? Yeah, two thousand and two. Wasn't it nine eleven? It's probably nine eleven. Was it nine eleven? It was sometime in November two thousand and two. Yeah, I told you. You see, I know this game inside out, right? So this is pretty much no man's land, right? So, um, what do I think moving forward for the euro? I do know for a fact that the euro will continue um, its, its downward movement. Um, I'm very certain about this. As you can see, in the monthly time frame, monthly candle has actually closed below 
this is what the GBPUSD didn't give to me. And this is why I'm still a bit concerned about GBPUSD. GBPUSD will fall, but the euro, I'm a bit more confident because the monthly candle has closed below this region. So I expect to see further downside. Next level target for the euro will be 0 0.96906. Why is that? If you simply look left on Forex Mastery Program, we teach you guys how to obviously map out these key levels. I can already see all this space to the downside. So one point was, so I think I'm currently trading at 1.0142. Long story short, how do we make money from this? It's simple. I've been seeing everybody tagging me on Twitter about this trade. Forex, I know if Forex Mastery student when I see one, it's so simple. Like we're already said, like guys, people are already said, I'm not even gonna lie to you. One guy, one guy tweeted at me just, the guy's already in some serious profit. I'm gonna give him a quick shout out now. It must be a Forex Mastery students because they are the only ones who actually spot these kind of setups quick. No offense to other people watching this, but you know, I must always shout out my students, they're the best. Okay, Mr. Fidel underscore the Argo Footprint Trader. 20 lots sell. There you go. He's zero US, he's already short. That's it. That's it right there. The guy is his thing on Twitter. Oh shit. Hold on, guys. Yeah, he tagged me. I know he's a student of Forex Mastery. So the euro is crashing. I know next level target for the euro will be 0 0.9856. Although there's a bit of a bridge here. It's a bit of the euro has a little chest here. A little chest. A little chest here has been a little chest. So I'm just gonna watch it, but I'm already short this. I have two trades open at the moment, one GBP USD, one with the Euro USD. And yeah, the Euro USD is actually showing better signs, better signs at the moment for a continuous decline. As you can see, very clean. One, two, three, four touches. Very clean, very nice. Pull back decent. You know, this is pretty much actually a Willis zone setup. Fibonacci from swing high to swing low. You can see the Fibonacci lines up pretty nicely with the trend line. I can tell you for free that the euro and obviously the daily candles are bleeding. And also there was a case of market manipulation that happened inside here as well. Market manipulation, you guys know I love it because obviously, um, when the market manipulates in the in a particular direction and we start heading in the direction the market initially wanted to head to, it simply means that the market is ready to go. For those of you guys who don't understand, once again, anytime you see resistance, 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 and then the market breaks that resistance, fakes it out, and then comes back down below that resistance and starts falling in the opposite direction, this is known as a clear case of market manipulation. We wanted to take out all the stops. I'm just going to quickly zoom in here. I'm just going to quickly zoom in about here. Um, just going to quickly zoom in around here um, so that you guys can see, as you can see, resistance. A lot of people had already probably sold their stop losses above previous highs. The market will come play around with it, test it, come down, test it, stop you. Just come play and then come and then boom. And then everybody now said, okay, it wants to go up, it wants to go up. They'll start buying and then boom. <laughs> It's market manipulation. So the market will weed out all the dumb money traders, all the people who don't have the Forex Mastery program. They don't know what market manipulation is about. So you take out, you take all their money, take all their money and then start falling all the way. And this is when the Forex Mastery students start selling and then they start making all the money to the downside. So the euro is pretty much good to go 0.99856. Actually, scratch that. We're heading back to parity. Let me just because it's a round number. So next level target for the euro is 1.0000000000. You had it first. You had it here first on Dapsi Radio. You had it here first on Dapsi Radio. The next level target for the euro dollar is 1.0000. <laughs> so let me quickly touch on one last pair, which is Bitcoin. Guys, I mean, we're already short this, so it's, it's not a big deal, okay? If we break here, next level target here. Don't forget to take out some money here. Watch this level very carefully. Um, if we see anything funny, don't forget to lock 50% of your profit. Forex Mastery students, you already know what to do. Let me not waste too much time on that, okay? BTC, on the other hand, is lining up pretty nicely for a potential sell trade. I'm just watching this bad boy. Um, as you can see, BTC is now officially in the downtrend. What happened to BTC, as you can see, we ranged here for so long, double top, neckline was broken. We're now currently coming back to test the neckline. If I just come on the weekly time frame so that it makes more sense to you guys, this is a double top. I'll break this down for you. Let me delete this trend line, BTC. 
I'll delete everything actually. <sighs> Let's delete all this. So we tried to go up, pushed up again, didn't happen. That's when I told you guys Bitcoin was going to collapse. You heard it here first on Dapsy Radio. Imagine I called Bitcoin. I, I personally called the collapse of Bitcoin. I crashed the market. Think I'm joking? joking? Check my other videos. Somebody actually tagged me in it. Two days, I, I'm loving to. Guys, if you're not following me on social media, you are actually joking. My, my Instagram handle, go follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is actually growing pretty nicely now. My Instagram handle is actually dapo.willis. Careful, there are all these funny fake people that are trying to copy me on Instagram, trying to be me. This, that's not me. This is my Instagram, dapo.willis. It's not like five I's or five S's. No, it's literally my name, the, the same name as the channel. Dapo, there's only a full stop in between. And how you know it's actually my page is, first of all, I have a lot of followers. And look at the comments. I actually have a lot of comments. So that's actually, that's how you know it's actually me. Go follow me on Instagram. I post more of my day-to-day -day life on Instagram. Funny stuff, me obviously flexing the Forex money that I make. And then on Twitter is where I literally, that's actually what I'm trying to grow at the moment, trying to interact with traders and stuff like that. So on Twitter, my name is I am Dapo. So it's just type Dapo Willis, but you see me as I am Dapo. I have, at the moment, I have 2,164 followers, okay? Anyways, people always tagging me about Daps. You said it, you called it, Bitcoin was going to collapse. It has indeed collapsed. Um, I, 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 maybe Trader Talk episode 25, that's when I actually predicted the collapse, I think, I think. Anyways, long story short, ladies and gentlemen, um, what actually happened to Bitcoin is actually quite simple. On a higher time frame, which you would learn on the Forex Mastery program, if you have it, you know, simple. Just five minutes. In five minutes, you already know if the market is going to collapse or go up. Simple. Higher time frame. Double top. Bam. What actually happens? You come to the neckline. If the market still wants to go higher, it will stay above the neckline and try and go higher. If it doesn't want to go higher, it will break the neckline. When we break the neckline, what happens? When we break the neckline, it's very simple. If we break the neckline, the market usually will collapse to the same amount of pips that we had in the range, just like GBP USD. Add this down here. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> are you seeing when the, the are you seeing the pip count to the downside? Jeez. Oh, man. Could this be the end of BTC? No, 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 no. Let me not think that far because because hmm. Because a lot of people are going to cry. People are messaging me, I lost a lot of money on crypto. Like, duh. I was telling you guys that it's a modern day casino. Nobody wanted to listen. Before we get ahead of ourselves and say this is the end of Bitcoin, let's actually see how we can make money short in this game. Okay? I don't think it's the end of BTC. I just feel like BTC is just not as valuable as people are starting to realize that, yo, it's not that, it's not, it's not that deep. Bitcoin is not exactly... It's not, it's not going to change the world. People are just starting to realize that. Anyways, long story short, ladies and gentlemen, let me just find the next level target on a higher time frame, and I'll just pop this here. Simple. If you want to learn how to do that, Forex Mastery Program will teach you that. Um, at the moment, we stumbled here. <sighs> so, what's going to happen to Bitcoin next? Um, neckline has been broken. The neckline, this is the neckline broken. This is the double top. We came down to the neckline. We we're supposed to, if the market wanted to continue going higher, it should have continued going up here. But as long as the neckline has been broken, and these these candles are from a very huge time frame, this this is confirmation of a trend reversal. So the market wants to start looking lower. So what has happened is we have collapsed, and now the market is trying to catch its breath. I can almost guarantee you something that this market is going to continue falling lower. Um, so now we're done with the higher time frame. Higher time frame has told us the market wants to come down south, right? So what do we do? What do we do? We now come on a daily time frame to now try and find a way to take advantage of the overall flow of the river, of the river, the river Niger or River Benue <laughs> or River Thames in London town, River Thames, man. Yo, guys in London, man, you lot need to clean River Thames, man. That shit looks green, boy. Doesn't look that nice. But anyways, um, allow BTC to wiggle its way all the way into this trend line. Forex mastery students, you know how to jump on this bad boy. Just wait for it. It's going to come to you, okay? Right about here. So this market is actually currently flagging at the moment. It's consolidating. Leave it. Let it become ripe. My Nigerian people will say, make it ripe. When you ripe, you go fall. When the market is ripe, when the, when the oranges are ripe, so it's a simple, nice, 
you know, blah, blah, blah. We'll come down here. So I'm just watching BTC at the moment. No trades at the moment. As you can see, it's very simple, very easy. If we come here, we break here. Next level target will be here. A lot of money to be made selling this shit, boy. Okay, so I'll be watching it. Don't forget, I'm favoring this 90% to the downside. I will always leave that little 10% room. The market can decide to go mad. But 90% 90 is good enough for me. As long as we come and we start to break this channel and start heading all the way to the downside, I will be ready to jump on top of this bad boy. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The euro has already kicked off. AUDUSD, guys. For those of you who are selling AUDUSD, see why I'm not talking about AUDUSD because we're still playing. Let me just go and hide. Let me zoom out for you guys. You know, I just have an issue with AUD USD. It hasn't just lived up to his expectation. It will eventually come down, but for now, this 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 major support level has got it in a choke chokehold chokehold. Okay, it's a chokehold. So I'm just watching AUD USD. I'll I'll prefer the market to actually come and clear this area, clear this blue zone, leave the blue zone alone, come down to white space, come down to white space, so that we can drop you down here. We can drop you down here, mate. Okay, so right now that's not happening. We're still all the way at the top now, so she is what it is. So we'll have to leave AUD USD. Euro USD is actually making me so much money right now. Hey God do Christmas is gonna be nice. Christmas is gonna be nice. Keep falling. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, my friend. My friend, I say calm down from there, calm down from upstairs. Calm down, calm down. It's good to calm, calm down, calm down. <laughs> I'm gonna take out the maybe some maybe seven percent of my position here. I just need this clear. Just calm down, eh? Let me relax. And there's one nice house I saw on Palm Jumeirah Island. The house is like nine million dollars. Guys, the house is crazy. I want to buy it. I want to buy it. I would lie to you guys. I want to buy the house. Nine million dollars. I swear I'll be so happy. Anyway, so Euro USD falling, GBP USD is gonna keep on falling as long as we clear this yellow bar here. Once we come down here, ah, everything, everything, everywhere we just soft, you know. So GBP USD short trades happening. Euro USD is already coming down. Uh, AUD USD out of the question for for now. BTC is, you know, trying to ripen. So I think that's about it for now. Gold, I'm not really touching gold because gold has formed a serious triple bottom or even purple bottom, whatever they call it. One, two, three, four. So right now, gold is a bit confused. A confused man. Gold is a confused man. Doesn't know if he wants to go up. Doesn't know if he wants to come down. No interest in you, mate. So Euro, GBP, USD, and Bitcoin for maybe another 10 days. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for staying to the very end. See how easy it is to trade the Forex market. Simple and straightforward. Project all your pips and go and spend. Now, once I, I'm done, once I close my computer now, this video is going to go live. I'm going to go enjoy myself. You see me on Instagram. I'm going to go to Gucci. I'm going to go to Faragamo. I'm going to go to Hermes. I'm going to call my mom. I'm going to gossip. I'm going to gossip some more and have fun, okay? And allow the market make me all this money. And then when the other trades are ready for me, it will let me know. Once again, thank you very much. I'll see you guys in my other screen. Let's go. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for staying to the very end of this very lengthy but brief video. I'd like to say a huge shout out to every single one of you who follows this channel. Once again, subscribe to the channel below. You don't get left behind, guys, because you know, you know how it goes. When I drop these videos, by the next day, these trades are already hitting targets and the, the, the train is already left you guys, right? So go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And once again, if you haven't joined the Forex Mastery Program, the link is always in the description as always. And yes, yours truly, my favorite broker, my broker of preference is Infinox Capital. The link is going to be in the description as always. That's my time. I'm Dapper Willis. I love you guys very much. Take it easy and peace out.